Soylent Green, a 1973 science fiction thriller, remains a stark portrayal of a dystopian future, grappling with overpopulation, environmental decay, and societal collapse. Starring the iconic Charlton Heston, the film explores themes of corporate control, ethical dilemmas, and the consequences of unchecked consumption. The narrative's chilling revelation continues to provoke discussions about the fragility of humanity in the face of unchecked progress. Did any classic Hollywood actor in this film stand out as your favorite? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. In the early 1970s, the movie Soylent Green emerged as a thought-provoking dystopian film directed by Richard Flesher. Set in an overcrowded, environmentally devastated New York City of 2022, it revolves around Detective Frank Thorne, portrayed by Charlton Heston, investigating the murder of a prominent member of society. As Thorne delves deeper, he uncovers unsettling truths about the Soylent Corporation, the entity behind the production of a popular food source essential for survival amidst global food scarcity. The iconic revelation toward the film's end, where Thorne discovers the disturbing origin of Soylent Green, remains a pivotal and chilling moment in cinematic history. The film's narrative confronts themes of overpopulation, environmental degradation, and the ethical implications of corporate control, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Its gritty portrayal of a bleak future, coupled with standout performances by Heston and the late Edward G. Robinson, who delivered a poignant final performance in this movie, cemented Soylent Green as a standout in the sci-fi genre. While not an immediate box office sensation, the film has gained cult status and continues to provoke discussions about societal issues and the consequences of unchecked corporate power. Despite its age, Soylent Green remains relevant, leaving an enduring mark on popular culture through its stark portrayal of a future society grappling with the consequences of its actions and the moral dilemmas that arise. It has served as a cautionary tale, urging reflection on the direction of our world and the consequences of apathy towards pressing global challenges. In the 1973 movie Soylent Green, there are intriguing behind-the-scenes tidbits that add layers to the film. For instance, Detective Thorne refers to a murder weapon as a meat hook, but it's actually a tool used by carpenters called a cat's paw. Interestingly, Sergeant Kilisic's lines were dubbed because Mike Henry's southern drawl didn't quite fit his New York City cop character. According to John Brosnan's book Future Tense, the cinema of science fiction Harry Harrison, the author of the source book, made an appearance on set distributing copies of the book and offering guidance to Edward G. Robinson about his character. These insights shed light on the movie's production and the collaborative efforts behind the scenes, providing a fascinating glimpse into the creation of this iconic film. The film's trailer tantalized audiences, posing the enigmatic query, what is the secret of Soylent Green? Unveiling snippets absent from the final cut, Charlton Heston's unheard pleas echo in the preview, heightening intrigue. Curiously, Edward G. Robinson's last scene paralleled his own mortality as he passed away that very evening after its filming. Charlton Heston, deeply affected, gathered the cast the following day to share the somber news. Dick Van Patten, starstruck by Robinson, stumbled over lines, inadvertently addressing the legend by his real name during a crucial scene. The movie's production held poignant significance beyond the screen. Culminating at the MGM Studios, it marked the lot's final film before yielding to development, making way for modern structures, erasing cinematic history. The studio's demise paralleled the dystopian themes within the film, merging fiction with the fleeting realities of progress and change. In one scene, the backdrop of future New York City featured buildings from Chicago and San Francisco. The actors Lee Taylor Young and Stephen Young were among the few from the film who lived to see the actual year 2022. The street scenes were cleverly shot on MGM's New York set, intentionally showing the incomplete facades to create a half-destroyed city without added effort. These details offer an intriguing look into how the film incorporated real locations and set designs to depict a futuristic, dystopian world. The final film featuring Edward G. Robinson, Soylent Green, holds a unique place in cinematic history. Its production faced a significant pause when director Richard Flesher's father, Max Flesher, a renowned animator, passed away. 
During the film, an interesting detail surfaces around the eight-minute mark, showcasing an early video game, Computer Space, a precursor to today's gaming giants, painted differently for its movie appearance than its original color. This game, designed by Nolan Bushnell, a figure pivotal in gaming history, adds a curious layer to the movie's setting. These distinct aspects, the film marking the end of a celebrated actor's career, the personal pause in filming due to the director's loss, and the inclusion of an early arcade game with historical significance, all contribute to the tapestry of Soylent Green's creation, offering glimpses into the varied facets of its production, and the intertwining of personal and technological elements within its narrative. Sylvia Lovsky, known for her final appearance in this film before passing away in 79, added depth to the movie. The term Soylent in the novel referred to a blend of soybeans and lentils, a subtle nod to its origins. Edward G. Robinson, almost completely deaf during filming, faced challenges understanding dialogue and relied on repeated takes to sync with others. His inability to hear the director's cues added a unique layer to his performance, capturing the resilience of an actor amidst limitations. These behind-the-scenes glimpses shed light on the dedication and adaptations essential to creating this iconic 73 movie, enriching its narrative. In a pivotal moment at around 33 minutes into the film, Thorne and Roth share an unscripted meal of fresh food, a scene improvised at the director's request by Charlton Heston and Edward G. Robinson. This spontaneous addition offers a glimpse into their characters' connection and the film's themes. Knowing Edward G. Robinson was nearing the end, Charlton Heston brought him various wines and cheeses daily during Robinson's scenes, all shot first. Robinson, who passed away four months before the movie's release at age 79, contributed profoundly to the film's emotional depth. At approximately 22 minutes, Thorne gifts Saul Palomino Blackwing pencils prized for their gold-colored flat erasers. These pencils have been used by notable figures such as John Steinbeck, Chuck Jones, Truman Capote, Quincy Jones, E.B. White, and Don Bluth, adding a layer of significance to the exchange between the characters. These behind-the-scenes moments, from improvised scenes to personal gestures between actors, add depth and context to the making of this iconic movie, revealing the care and thoughtfulness that went into crafting its narrative. As the curtains fall on our cinematic journey, the enigmatic tale of the 1973 movie, Soylent Green, leaves us with a tapestry of contemplation. This masterpiece isn't merely celluloid. It's an invitation to delve deeper into our perception of society, morality, and the fragile nature of humanity. Perhaps you found solace in its dystopian setting, or maybe the narrative struck a chord, igniting introspection about our relationship with the environment or the consequences of societal negligence. Whether it's the riveting performances or the haunting prophecy of a future gone awry, Soylent Green seems to whisper its relevance across time, urging us to reflect on our own existence. What memories does this film awaken in you? Were you captivated by its poignant commentary or awestruck by its foresight? Share your thoughts, let your reflections echo within this cinematic realm. Thank you for joining this voyage through the corridors of cinematic history. Your time and contemplation are truly valued. Until we traverse another captivating narrative, continue exploring the depths of storytelling that resonate with your soul.